February is really the latest that you can get a good crack at covering the borders with mulch. Uh, because you start to get plants coming through and there's a chance of damaging them. So we're emptying our compost bins out uh, onto the beds and we've got some old bags of half decayed leaves and we've also got uh, some bales of a couple of bales of straw that we um, bought that we didn't need. And we're going to cover this with a layer of manure February is also about the latest that you can cut hedges without having any worry of disturbing nesting birds and I've already checked this hedge you can see in it that there's nothing nesting or trying to nest in there and I'm reducing it by quite a bit a couple of feet to try and get some more light in onto this border which we're having a bit of a makeover on. Uh, we're we're going to clear this border completely of this bamboo which has started to uh, overtake the border it's, it's been in over 20 years and it's decided in the past couple of years to suddenly start spreading everywhere so we're cutting it off to ground level first and uh, then we're going to have to the nasty job of trying to dig it all out I, d I didn't want to waste the canes and I've continued with this construction which I, I put in a couple of videos ago uh, and uh, obviously it won't stay green but um, hopefully it'll be a bit of a screen and hide that fence even when the leaves drop off it certainly look better than a panel fence I think I uh, after a bit of trial and error I uh, tried a long handle grafting tool and uh, with no success and I've come to realise that the mattock was the best way of getting these roots out. Now I'm not going to get them all out so unfortunately what we're going to have to do is dig out what we can and then when the others come up see if we can maybe um, dig them up individually as they come up later in the year. We might even have to resort to poisoning um, some of the shoots if we if we can't uh, kill them off because it's really quite thick underneath and almost impossible to get them out completely. I've also been cutting back a few of the uh, shrubs. I've got a cottonus in the uh, back garden which we've I've decided just to cut it up with a hedge cutter this year. Uh, I did it last year as well like this and, and it come back fine. 